Hello, dear friends. Please forgive my parents. I, it's early and about to leave town and lots going on at my house and I needed to get away. Talk with the Lord out here at the bus stop. Um, again, I didn't plan to share anything with you, but this keeps coming to me. I keep being reminded of it. And I want to remind it with remind you. Like I said, please forgive this puffiness and everything. I'm just hardly awake. But what it is is for your mind. For your mind. For my mind. The Lord cares so much about us. And our worries. Our minds being weighed down. He knows that. And he does not want us to be worried. How many times in the scriptures does he say, Fear not. Do not worry. And I know we do. We do. There's some big, serious, hard things going on in the world at large and in this space that's around us. These people that are connected with us, to us. And I just found myself, you know, I hear, I read, and I see. The cares and troubles, the heaviness people carry, what they're going through, being tested, tried, being in a dry place where it feels like nothing's happening here. And I, I feel that along with you. I do. And it concerns me very much, you know. I was just talking with the Lord about, Lord, here I am about to go off and to a nice place with my mom who comes once a year to visit from Maine. And there's all these people with so much going on in their lives and I don't really want my mind to be, you know, my mind is on them and what they're going through. And Lord, how can I help all these people? You're in the same way. Those connected to you, you share in their burdens, don't you? It's not just you out here in this world and what's going on with you. It's all these that are around you and connected to you that you have love for. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you keep walking with the Lord, that circle grows. More and more people are attached to you, connected to you. And you share in the burdens and the load of more and more people. And I think about Moses. I said, Lord, how, how can I care for all these people? The burden of it's too much. What do I do? And I feel the same sometimes, don't you? Lord, what am I to do? All that I know to do is be there for him and listen. And all that I know to do is to come to you and mention their name before you that I'll make sure you know what's going on about with them to help them, Lord. I can't. And again, the reminder has come to me, and that's what I wanted to share. My mind is being pulled in so many directions about this one and what they're going through, and that one and their burden, and that one, what they must be feeling and thinking right now. And and I, I don't want to leave anybody out or forget anybody, and I don't want to go on and just have a good time and leave these and their sufferings and what they're going through. What do I do, Lord? 
And the reminder comes, Misty, put your mind on me. Think about me. What you know of me so far. And that just increases our faith. It does. Because doesn't it feel sometimes, if I'm not thinking about that and that and that, if I ain't got my hands on it trying to fix it, if my mind's not spinning and those wheels turning to figure it out and what's the uh, solution to it and this, that, and the other, then it might all fall apart. I do. I do. But the Lord said, Come to me. Get alone with me. Put your mind on me. Talk with me. Pour out your heart, every thought, every fear, every body, whatever you need to do, and leave it with me. And as your mind is fixed on me, as you're seeking and your desire and your goal is to find me more and more, to know me more and more. I am attending to all those things that are trying to pull your mind apart. That's what the Lord's doing. And it can feel scary. You know? If you're like me, you can feel scared that I'm not attending to it and thinking about it and involved. It's all going to fall apart. But I think of Mary and Martha. That account that is recorded there for us is a real, true event. That really happened. There was Mary and there was Martha. And if you'll forgive me, I don't remember which one was sitting at Jesus' feet. And which one was worried about everything going on around them? But you probably do. And one of them, maybe Mary, was there at Jesus' feet, listening, learning, thinking about him, paying attention to him. And the other sister was like, tell her to get up and help me. All these things are going on. All these things need to be done. And Jesus said, no, she's got it right. She's right here. Her eyes are on me. And while her eyes are on me, I'm attending to all those things that have to do with her. And y'all, it's the same for me and it's the same for you today. That was written a foretime for us that that's the right thing to do. Look at that chin hair. Y'all, I'm telling you what, getting old. Look at that, it's just shining. Have y'all noticed that? Anyway, I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to share that again. It is, it won't leave my mind. And you know, as our minds drift off of that childlike faith in him, that he's got all this. Really, Lord, that's all I'm to do? Keep my mind stayed on you? And you'll handle all these things? That's so simple. Are you sure? That's all I need to do? Yeah, that's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. So I just wanted to remind everybody of that as best you can and ask them. I have to ask them, help me keep my mind on you, Lord. That I'm not filled with worry about this one and that one and the other and that situation and this. Put my mind on you. And as you seek and 
as you make the kingdom of God your primary concern. He said all these other things will be added unto you. I think about it that way too. As you in your best try to set your mind on things above where Christ sits at the right hand of the Father in complete control all knowing there anything we need ask there anything we want to learn ask as we're doing that he's attending to all these earthly things going on around us he is let's try to do that it increases our faith write it down you know so that you have proof for yourself wow he really did work that matter out while I just my best tried to obey his word to keep my eyes on him to seek first him what he might have to say what he might have to teach me through all this and he will work it all out he will. That's what I were, wanted to remind y'all of because I'm being reminded of it. And I know how it is to have your mind full of worry. So much going on around us. But y'all, heaven and earth and the fullness thereof is His. He knows what's going on everywhere in every place. He sees it. He sees it fully. He sees it completely from beginning to end. Here we are in this little space of time in this little generation here on the earth with things happening. He sees it all. He was with our forefathers. He was with Mary and Martha. And he's here with us today. And he will be with those that are on the earth in generations to come, Lord willing. He will. He's got it. He knows people. He's been dealing with them for a long time. He knows how to fix every problem. Every, nothing's new under the sun. He's seen it all. Though it may be a new thing to us, not to the Lord. He has complete control over his creation. Even the enemy and his workings are limited. The Lord knows. He knows what's in your heart and on your mind today. Stick close with him. As much as you can. When thoughts come, turn to Him and say, Lord, I'm trusting you here. I don't know what to do. And watch and say that you might see His mighty hand working in all around you. Our trust and our faith grows in His ability and that He is who he says he is, and he always will be. We don't have to worry that that's going to change. We don't. Our Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father. There are no words to describe. And, and what we need is to understand more his love. For us. That will help us. Yeah. That's what I want to remind y'all of. How in the world it went to 14 minutes. I don't know. But. Praying for you. But the best thing I can do. For you. And those around me. Is to stay close with him. Stay focused on him. 
as much as my mind will let me. You know, I attend to my duties. I do what I gotta do. But when everything holds still a minute, put my mind there. And he's taking care of all these things. And he's doing it for you. He is. And our faith will grow in him. He's so deserving of our attention anyways, isn't he? He's got all the answers. He does. He is the answer to everything. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forevermore. I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon.